What is up guys? Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here. And today we're gonna go do a couple small junk removal jobs. Um, just talk about, uh, just reinforcing the idea that small jobs, especially if you have dumpsters or an extra dump trailer lying around, small jobs can definitely bring you profit and you can basically get into these jobs pretty easy uh, from a sales perspective because most of the time you can charge anywhere from $50 all the way up to $150 and most likely fit it in the bed of your pickup truck. So we have a like a two piece little couch to pick up, um, a few bags of garbage, and I believe some Adirondack chairs, which you guys will see what those are. And uh, then we have a dumpster with a little bit of construction debris that was only about half full. So we're gonna bring that um, all back to the yard and uh, just show you guys a couple of these jobs and how quickly it can add up if you do it correctly. All right guys, so job number one, just this uh, couple pieces of couch. We'll get this loaded up into the truck here real quick. All right, so as you guys can see behind me, we got the two pieces of the couch loaded up. That job we did 115 plus tax, that is now our minimum for larger items. This next job you guys are gonna see is gonna be priced a little less. Breathing a little heavy here. That was about a two minute load up time by myself. And it was one mile exactly from our shop. The other job is across town. We're gonna go get that one now. All right, so what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna take the couches. We're gonna put them into this roll off here. Another thing you can do, I don't wanna deter you guys from doing this if you're already doing it. You can donate this stuff this couch in particular, a lot of pet hair on it, dirt, all that type of stuff. Um, so we're not gonna donate it. Uh, I'm gonna, hopefully these Adirondack chairs are something that we can reuse. Uh, wooden furniture and stuff like that, where you guys can either flip it for a little extra money, uh, donate it for free, um, put it on you know marketplace. There's lots of other side hustles within junk removal where you don't need to bring everything to the landfill unless something um there the usable life is of it is pretty much gone like this couch for example there, there's dirt on it there's grass on it and stuff like that that's not something that we're going to go and spend the time to clean up um to resell or, or give away it's just going to go into the truck since it's been paid for in the job but it's nice if you can help people out and uh and repurpose this stuff especially if you can either sell it super cheap or give it away don't be afraid to do that too. so gonna go get uh load number two guys made a kind of a game time decision to just drop that stuff back at the shop like i said it was about eh, 17 minutes flat from leaving the shop getting there getting the stuff and back to the shop because it was literally a mile away this other job is about a mile and a half away from the shop it is a current customer and i'll show you guys that one next so job number two guys behind me here, just a little bit of wood, some sticks and random stuff, these wooden chairs. Uh, this little pickup here was 60 bucks, weighs nothing, and it was a return customer of ours. This would have probably been closer to $100 had it not been a recurring residential customer. We try to give them incentives because this customer's been with us five years. It's another little thing, if you guys have a residential trash business out there, it's a great way to get extra pickups and make a little bit of extra money. So 115 plus the 60, that's a buck 75. We're gonna have really no extra dump fees on this because like I said, the total dump, like if we have this, um, uh, material here that we're not going to be able to donate, which obviously the Adirondack chairs are absolutely destroyed. So we're not going to be donating those. What we'll do with this small amount, guys, is we'll try to get like seven to 10 of these size jobs in one of our dumpsters. And the dump fee is still going to be hopefully a ton or less. So if the dump fee is between 70 and 100 bucks and we can have close to 800 to a thousand dollars worth of work in that dumpster uh it really accounts for um if you can spin it i mean i wouldn't do this if you got to let it sit for months but if you do this like once a week it's you know not the end of the world and we wouldn't do this with regular trash because that's that's disgusting but furniture construction debris wood that kind of stuff that doesn't smell and is not harmful or anything uh, this is really the most profitable way to do it. And this total for both jobs, driving there, coming back to the shop, everything, was just about an hour and 15 minutes. So if you guys are out there, let me know. Is a buck 75 uh, in about an hour and 15 good? Or is that not good enough for you guys to do it? I mean, even at this level, when we're you know doing some junk removal jobs, it all seems to be hit or miss. Like some junk removal jobs, you can get there, bang out an hour job, make 500 bucks, it's awesome, it's a full truckload. But those little jobs where you know you do $175 in an hour here, you know $200 an hour there, $100 in an hour here, you can really put those together throughout the week 
and only be putting a few miles on your truck, I don't think you guys should ever get too big for those jobs, especially when they're so close to the shop. Now, if we had to drive for this stuff, guys, it'd be way more. We'd have to definitely add like at least a $30 to $100 trucking fee, especially if you guys send two guys out there. But if you're an owner operator, even if you're an owner operator with a few guys and you're hanging out at the shop doing paperwork and the phone rings, you can run out there and, and you know make the company $175 in revenue in an hour and then go back and be at your desk and answer more phone calls, do more paperwork, whatever you gotta do guys. Being versatile in this junk removal space is one thing I love the most about it. We have our residential trash route that is giving us you know tens of thousands of dollars of recurring revenue a month. We have dumpster rentals, which in the peak season are doing five figures a month, you know, 10 to $15,000 a month. But junk removal has really gotten us through some tougher times just because we don't really ever say no. Now, sometimes customers aren't going to want to pay the price and that is totally fine. You're going to have that in any business, but d try to work with them like that $60 job. A lot of you guys may be like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't have done that for less than a hundred, $150. Well, it's a recurring customer. We pick up stuff for this guy every single spring and fall. Plus, we've had his garbage business uh, account where that's, you know, that $35 a month recurring revenue. We've had that going for four or five years now, guys. So just being there for your customers. Customer service is huge and they'll take care of you as long as you take care of them. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video on how to make a little bit of money with your pickup truck any day of the week. We'll see you guys next time.